Top 5 Easiest Fruits to Grow Welcome to the Books of Fruits Are you bored at home and have an empty yard? Or maybe COVID-19 lockdown is dragging everyone down? In today's episode, we have the top 5 easiest fruits to grow. Whether you're planning to plant something in your yard or just trying to pass time during lockdown, Here's a list of the top 5 easiest fruits to grow and I have graded them from the most preferable ones to the least preferable ones. 1. Grapes 2. Strawberry 3. Cherry 4. Apple 5. Peach Now let's get into details. First, we have on the list is grape. Grape culture, or viticulture, is probably as old as civilization itself. Archaeological evidence suggests humans began growing grapes as early as 6500 BC. Grape growing extended from Transcaucasia to Asia Minor and through the Nile Delta of Egypt. There are around 10,000 varieties out there, but there are many good reasons to stick to the well-known and famous. One being that it is easier to grow and having it fresh just tastes better. Everyone loves plucking the ripest pearls from a bunch of grapes while sitting in the shade on a hot summer day, that and an ice-cold glass of lemonade. While strawberries will give you fruit the first year, you will have to wait a bit for grapes. Luckily, it doesn't take too long to start producing your first bunches, only about three years. After that, you will be set with grapes for life or at least the next 50 years although grapevines are not hard to grow, you will face stiff competition at harvest time from birds and other animals. On the other hand, there are also many of recommendations on how to prune them, but many people grow grapes quite successfully even with a relaxed approach to pruning. And be sure to note whether a variety is best for eating or winemaking. Most grape varieties need a sunny location with rich soil that has good drainage and air circulation to prevent disease. These are their suitable growing conditions. Next on the list we have is, strawberry. Strawberries are native to the temperate regions of the northern hemisphere, and cultivated varieties are widely grown throughout the world. The fruits are rich in vitamin C and are commonly eaten fresh as a dessert fruit, and used as a pastry or pie filling, and may be preserved in many ways. If your garden has full sun, and a well-draining soil, try growing strawberries, your ice cream will appreciate the gesture. Alternatively, you can also grow strawberries in containers or even lovely woven baskets. While some gardeners may say that strawberries require lots of space, this is simply not true. The fact that you can grow them in pots outside, dispels the myth. However, you may want to consider using raised beds for growing strawberries for easier weeding and harvesting. Strawberry plants like to spread via runners, but for the best fruit production, Limit the runners to just a few plants and prune the rest. Also, pinch off the blossoms in a plant's first season to prevent it from fruiting. This will allow it to put its energy toward developing a healthy root system, which will significantly increase its output the next season. Finally, expect to replace or rejuvenate your strawberry plant every three to five years. Depending on your location and amount of wildlife in your area, you may also need to protect the berries as they become ripe. They will attract more than just your attention, but the sweetness of homegrown strawberries is totally worth it. These are their suitable growing conditions. Next on the list is one of the easiest fruit trees to grow and care for. It is cherry. Sweet cherries originated in Asia Minor in the fertile areas between the Black and Caspian Seas and were likely brought to Europe by birds. The Greeks were the first to cultivate cherries and the Romans continued to increase and expand production. Pollination for cherry is essential because cherry trees are not self-pollinating. Sweet cherries need two trees for cross-pollination unless you plant a tree with two different varieties grafted on it. You can get away with just one tree if you are growing sour baking cherries. Honeybees are the main pollinator. Prune your cherry tree in the winter while it is still dormant, and fertilize it in the early spring. Moreover, these trees aren't very drought tolerant. So ensure that they get watering or rainfall at least weekly or more during hot weather. Cherries are one of the easiest fruit trees to grow because they require minimal to no pruning and are rarely plagued by pests or diseases. These are their suitable growing conditions.
Coming up next is the apple. Saying about apples, who doesn't like apples? Apples are just way too popular and suitable to grow in many locations. Originating in the Tian Shan Mountains of Kazakhstan millions of years ago, the apple has been part of the human diet for tens of thousands of years. Surprisingly, when you visit the grocery store, there's only about two to three kinds of apples but in reality, there are about 7,500 varieties of apples and 2,500 of which are grown in the US. Apples can be easy to grow but difficult to take care of. As apple trees are prone to many insects require some spraying, covering, or other protection methods. Apple trees also need a great deal of pruning. When pruning, focus on thinning branches to increase the amount of sunlight and airflow that can hit all parts of the tree. This promotes healthy growth and helps to prevent disease. Under good conditions, apple trees may drop one or more per day. Which means, an apple a day, makes 365 a year. These are their suitable growing conditions. Finally, we have the last easiest fruits to grow, peach. Peach probably originated in China and then spread westward through Asia to the Mediterranean countries and later to other parts of Europe. The Spanish explorers took the peach to the New World, and as early as 1600 the fruit was found in Mexico. Peaches are widely eaten fresh and are also baked in pies and cobblers. Canned peaches are a staple commodity in many regions. Yellow-fleshed varieties are especially rich in vitamin A peach trees tend to be small enough to fit in most backyard sizes. And when the peaches are ripening, you can smell their sweetness several yards away. In addition, a benefit to growing this thin-skinned fruit yourself is you'll get to enjoy the freshest produce straight from the tree, rather than the old and potentially bruised options at the supermarket. These trees do require some pruning to keep the branches productive and at a manageable height. Thinning young trees helps them to produce smaller crops of large peaches, rather than heavy crops of tiny peaches. Peach trees are typically pruned into an open V, with three to five main branches that allow light and air to hit the center. Peach trees normally take three to four years to grow and start producing fruits but you can buy a young tree from your local nursery for a good start. These are their suitable growing conditions. Here's the list for you again in case you forgot. 1. Grapes. 2. Strawberry. 3. Cherry. 4. Apple. 5. Peach. And that's all for today. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. You can also comment down below other fruits that you think are easy to grow so that everyone can learn from it and enjoy the process of growing fruits. Till we meet again at Books of Fruits.